All right, let's see. So, ah, oh, shit. Oh, I shouldn't be cussing in the first 10 seconds of a video. But yeah, um, Mage just got buffed. And uh, hold on, let me give some context. <laughs> uh, for those that don't know what's going on. <laughs> Mage just got buffed recently in Korea. The West is now two balance patches behind. This is my favorite summary of the balance patch. Cillian. Cillian, Cillian is a uh, mages. It's a race, right? Delane is assassins. Shushire, zerkers. Uh, the big titty slayer. Yeah, yeah. So Cillian's got buffed. Why it got buffed? Uh, in order to get buffed, I waited till my neck was going to fall on my shoulder. So I'm glad they buffed us. Pretty much rough translation. And if we look at the top comment, 36 upvotes. <laughs> he said, Director Opa, you are the GOAT, sir. And then the reply... <laughs> uh, and then he says, you are giraffe, dude. Uh, <laughs> her neck is so long. Her neck is so long, it, it goes to the stratosphere, dude. Yeah. So it's a common meme that if you look at... Let's see. Screenshot, screenshot gallery. If we go here. If we look at any Cillin photo. Especially ones in a tilted angle. See, like, what they're doing is they're covering it with collars. Like, look at her neck. They're covering with these collars. They know. Oh my god, it's so long. There is like this angle, the pose, where it makes it even longer. It elongates it. Where is that thing, man? Where is that thing? I mean, Invent is kind of dead for customizations. It's kind of dead. You gotta go in, you gotta go in game. Style book. Mage. Uh, let's go into number one downloaded. Yeah, is it this angle? Is <laughs> yeah, look at this thing. Holy. Anyways, yeah, long neck, long neck. Yeah, long neck. Uh, that's the wrong. That's the wrong link. That's the right link. Okay. Anyways, that was a balance patch. You know. <laughs> Oh yeah, he uploaded this customization, his gunsinger. He's saying that it's population video time. Last time, Zerkers were suffering in terms of popula- Sorry. Zerkers were suffering, right? In all brackets, like new players, returnees, and endgame. One of the lowest growth in Korea. Just, we're just gonna watch this for fun, okay? We're gonna watch it for fun. Mm. So many of his viewers are saying, look at not only the class, but the engravings too. Class engravings. Anyways. Okay, so 1580 plus 1 through 10. Why 1580? As we always talk about, because they pretty much get us to 1580 here with the Super Mokoko event that came with Breaker in Korea, right? 1580 is like kind of an entry eye level here in KR. So let's see how many people are entering 1580 in KR. Yo, Q Doodle, thank you so much. Artist, still number one. So this is last month ranking. Second tab is this month ranking. And the third tab is changes. So 8,000 artists were born, I mean, entered, they have entered 1580 plus. Number two, Bard, 4,800. Wow, Bards are waning down. That's crazy. Bards used to be the 8,000s. Soul Eater, still very strong. 7,845 were born this month. I mean, sorry, I'm so sorry. It's entering 1580 plus. And then Breakers, wow, it waned down a lot. 8,400. You see that? Soul Eater, Boobs, Assassin, Scythe. 
still hanging in strong while the newest class breaker kind of waning. Slayer, 5,400. And as the jokes go in Korea, if Slayer was made as a hitmaster or non-positional, I wonder, and there's a common saying that titties will be everywhere in Arcasia. Yeah, it'd be curves everywhere. So Slayer is number five entering 1580, but Slayer is now one plus years old. One plus year old? Grammar? And next is Aramancer. 4,164. Airbuster has kind of waned down over time. Paladin is 4,173. Out of the three supports, the least entering 1580, but still a lot. 4,000 is a lot. Compared to the next one, Gunsinger. Wow. Dude. Gunsinger used to be like seven to 8,000. Now it's 1797. Wow, man. What is, what is Smoggate doing to my girl, man? Like, lowering her public perception, bro. Gunlancer, 2,299. And then, Blade at 3,495. I wonder why. I wonder why. Let's look next slide. He's saying, yeah, Breaker beat Slayer. And he's saying, How, uh, where will Breaker end up? Well, now that we have some hindsight, Breaker didn't get nerfed. As a matter of fact, nobody got directly nerfed. Some people got indirectly nerfed, which is if you're, let's say you're working at a company and then you're Johnny and there's Susie and Susie gets a promotion, then you are kind of, you didn't get a nerf, right? Your pay is the same, but... Someone is making more than you now, right? So you kind of fell in the ranks. You know what I mean? Right? <laughs> if there's a ranking and then let's say there are 10 people and nine people got a raise and you didn't get a raise, then you, you're, you're the last place, right? Even though you didn't get your pay nerfed. Anyways, you get, you get my point. All right, next, Glavier 2000 at number 11th. Sorceress 1428. I, I believe it's going to change a lot because Sork got buffed. Or are they, are they buffed? Some people are saying buff, a little bit buff. I don't know. They're figuring it out. But Arcana for sure. Arcana for sure. Ward answer is 13. 1800 ward answers. Scrapper, 1700. You see that? 1700 scrappers while 8400 breakers, right? And then Reapers, 2500. Hmm. Pretty strong. Reaper went up one slot. It beat Striker down. Striker, wow, 11.35. Holy. Holy. Damn, it used to be the other way. It used to be War Dancer was less than Striker. Hmm. Destroyer, 15.90. Sounds like a... Uh, okay, Arcana, 11.13. Scouter, 11.50. Summoner, 880. However, this is last month data... Before the 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 ceiling, the maid just got buffed, right? I'm interested to see. I'm interested to see what's gonna happen next. Okay, next. Yeah, he's gonna pinpoint Reaper. Cause like there's only one movement here. In the previous slide, there was one movement with Slayer and Breaker. Yeah, Reaper is doing good, ranking up. Good girl. Reaper is highly recommended right now. And she also got buffed. Reaper got buffed. Her EHP got buffed. I don't... Not that I needed it. She's one of my least potion-consuming class in Endgame, which is... When I say Endgame, I mean like the Thaimine and Echidna, especially Echidna. And then next, the latter six. The last six. Shadowhunter, 1188. Sharpshooter, 1348. And then we got Deadeye at 1035. And Artillerist at 911. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the meme. Zerker. Oh, Zerker not last place this month. Zerker's not last. My boy, I love Zerker. 684. And Soulfist. 669. We're entering 1580 as of February to March. Not surprised. <laughs> Not surprised. Okay. So, in the order of the greatest 
to the least that entered 1580. Okay, Breaker, new class, Artist, Aya, ah, yeah, yeah. Soul Eater, three, Slayer, four, Bard, Pala, Arrow, Blade, Reaper, Gun Lancer, right? Remember we talked about this? Like, someone was telling me, all, with all due respect to him, because he was being respectful to me, he said that if Berserker one-shot bosses, people would just re-roll like that, and everyone would play Berserker. We have a class that is super meta right now called Blade, and even, even entering 1580, in the region of Korea, only 3,500. I mean, 3,500 is a lot. But still, in the grand scheme of things, right? You can't just on demand switch class. And just because you're 1580 doesn't mean you're meta. You can't be meta at 1580. Yeah. But yeah, the trend is a lot of the new classes are like Breaker 1, Soul Eater 3, Slayer 4, three of the latest classes. Artist is the latest support. I, just hot take, hot take. My opinion is I hope the next class, way down the road, please, would be a support that is either cute or hot or a mix of both. Because it sells. It works. It's working. I mean, Artist is... She has dominated the popularity. Anyways, let's keep going. Okay, so 11, Glavier. War Dancer, 12. Gunsinger, 13. Scrapper. Destroyer, Sork. Sharpshooter. Shadowhunter. Scouter, or Machinist. Striker. What the frick? This guy, Striker is 20 now? He used to be mid of the road. He used to be mid Andy. Sorry. And then Arcana, Deadeye, Artillerist, Summoner, Zerker, Solfus. Now let's see about... Okay, let's look at the ratio of support to damage. 1580 plus uh, damage to support uh, ratio. Okay. So support increased by 0.11. 21%. Okay, so <laughs> compared to last month, it went up 0.11. Compared to last month, 0.11. Uh, we need more supports. Okay. It's not, a, it's not an emergency yet, but yes, supports are needed. Now, let's look at the end game. Remember, this is the hard part, right? You, like, it's like me telling somebody in chat, a very insensitive comment would be a streamer saying, hey, you don't like your class? Reroll. That's not that easy, right? But let's see how many people are entering 1630 plus. Not that 1630 is that high of an eye level anymore, but let's just see. Number one, Bard. Number two, Artist is now number two. She was fourth last month. Now she is second. Gunsinger went down to number three. Wow, Gunlancer went down because Artist jumped up. What? Artist is number two in the endgame too? That is crazy. Like Bard, I get it. Bard is, she's been out since beta. But Artist? Holy dude, Korea loves Ayaya, man. Dude, she, they love Ayaya, bro. Number two now in the end game. Damn. They have grown so fast. Blade. Blade is number five now. <laughs> Dude, Blade was seventh, right? Look at that. Remember that argument of, um, hey, not, it wasn't even an argument. It was just an exchange of, you know, if they buff Zerkers to the moon, people would just swap. How many people have entered 1630 as Blade? 1511. 1511. That's how expensive it is to chase meta. Only 1511 people could have done it. And they're still not meta. They're just 1630 plus. Yeah. Hmm. And then Sork is 1135. Uh, wait. Sork went down one. But I think Sork's going to come back. Because she just got buffed. Glavier, 1192. Wardancer, 1002. Scrapper, 
is 932 and the paladin is 10 uh sorry 1016 okay number 10 so bard first artist gunslinger gunlancer blade sork glavier wardancer scrapper pala yeah, he's pointing out the same thing. Artists went up, and he's just highlighting the ones that changed. Okay, let's see. 11 to 20th for 16.30 plus. For the amount of characters that enter 16.30 plus in the last 30 days. Airmancer! Holy! Airmancer went up four slots. Jesus, that Airmancer buff. Mm. Airmancer's cooking, man. Airmancer's, uh, in my opinion, have high acceptance rates into into into, into groups. Mm. Airmancer is highly sought after in Hitmaster groups. So 1,098. Striker, holy Striker is really weaning down in not only 1580 plus, but 1630 plus. Look at that. 784 decided to enter. Decided it was worth the investment. The gold, the hones. Yeah. And then now Reaper, 816. Went up one slot. Arcana is 694. But like I said, Arcana just got buffed to the moon. Right? Slayer, uh, Summoner, 551. Summoner also got reworked. I mean, not reworked. Sorry, buffed. And then Slayer at 1078. Destroy at 568. Uh, Machinist 554. Zerker 390. Oof. Falling three slots. Damn. Now, when I when you see something like this, especially the YouTube audience or Twitch audience, they get mad. But the thing is, it's not because Zerker is bad. It's just because Zerkers just don't like Zerker, Summoner, pre buff, right? They just don't stand out. That's it. It's just because people don't talk about it. This is a public procession game. If everybody talks about Blade, 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 then everyone's gonna be like, oh, I think I heard of Blade being strong. I should probably make a Blade or something. Maybe I should try it out, right? It's just, it's like, there's nothing really to really yap about when it comes to some other classes. You can't yap about 26 classes. People like to yap about the five, five to 10 classes in Twitch chat or you know, in YouTube videos. Soul Eater. Um, Soul Eater went up five slots. Okay, 1173. Yeah, so, so Air Master went up four slots. The Air Master has a huge population though. Okay, the last six entering the end game. Artillerist, 467. Uh, Sophist, 458. Sharpshooter, 450. Shadowhunter, 385. Deadeye, 346. And then the last one is Breaker. Breaker, 1,055. Pretty good. Okay. It just tells you how hard it is to meta chase, right? Some people are like, just chase meta, period. You're not meta because you just made the class. You're meta after you swipe a lot. And then also learn the class. You see that even though Breaker is meta, not many can decide, I mean, choose to be part of the meta. They just enter 1630. They have to grind out the... Um, elixirs as well as transcendence, which is what something uh, pretty much everybody else has. Mm. Meta chase is good for new players, but by the time, like, for example, let's say you made a slayer and you enter endgame, what people are saying with these data is that it takes about eight to eight to 12 months. Right, eight to twelve months for a new player. Let's say you started last year when Slayer came out. You're like, oh, Slayer OP. So you started twelve months ago. If you still continue that journey as a low spender or free to play, 
and you still play that Slayer, you probably enter 1630, 1640 by now. Are you meta? Not really. The meta changed. That's the thing. That's the, that's the thing about meta. Meta chasing is very expensive. It's unrealistic for 99% of players. It, 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 it's just like, you could, you, could, you could be like, no, you're crazy all you want, but the data is there. Data, data is there. Data is there. 252 breakers. 252. Out of all the players in Korea that wants to meta chase breaker, new class, 252. Entered endgame. Right? And then this month, 1307. 1300 players about to chase meta they haven't chased it yet what's max out without esther 1670 okay so let's look bard very strong still 2600 bards enter 1630 plus artist almost a thousand blade number three Gunsinger, 1,200. Gunsinger is still hanging in there, number four, right? So Gunsingers, some of them are deciding to continue onwards because of what we just said, right? It's too hard. Like some people said earlier, even though Gunsinger didn't get buffed recently, other than the EHP, it's too late to reroll. It's too late. It's too expensive. True. So they continue onwards. The only way is up for them. Glavier... Next, Gun Lancer at number six, Soul Eater at number seven, right? Look at the Soul Eater versus Gun Lancer difference. It's not like Soul Eater is going to overtake Gun Lancers. It's not like Soul Eater is going to overtake Glaviers. It's not Soul Eaters are not going to overtake Gunsingers, right? Even though people say Soul Eater is the prime example of Hitmaster right now in the meta, it just not feasible for 99% of the players to just main swap out of Gunsinger. Or out of Glavier. Glavier has become the hexagonal, hexagonal, he hexa hexagon class, hexagon. He I can't, I can't freaking pronounce, man. It's that time of the day. Brains shutting down. Go uh, Glavier got a little bit of that stagger buff, so it's got like it's well rounded now. Hexagonal. Sorry, whatever. You, you guys get what I'm saying. Sork eleven thirty four. Same thing with Sorks, right? You can't just tell Sorks reroll. Like the people that started. Sorks back in uh what was it 2021 August, and then uh Aramancer, Slayer, top ten Slayer, but it looks like like Slayer is not gonna get, like even though she's big boobs, she it doesn't look like she is gonna trend upwards, right? Because her growth rate is number ten. So if nothing really changes for Slayer down the road. I could only see her being 10th, right? Whereas Gunsinger, if Gunsinger gets a rework, Copium, Hopium, you could type that all you want. She's fourth, chat. She's fourth. If she gets reworked, dude. Whew. Look at what Bla what happened to Blade when Blade got reworked and buffed to the moon. 1500 a month, right? The number one, the number one DPS class outside of the two top supports right now. Right? It's not like Soul Eater's catching up. Soul Eater can't catch up. Slayer cannot catch up. Right? Data. Data's data. Data's data. Okay. See, like Breaker, good and all. Right? Breaker is meta. Let's not hide, beat around the bush here. Okay? There has been no nerfs recently. Other than the initial nerfs. Still meta, but people are deciding to Hone Blade. Why is that? I think you can pretty much guess why they're honing Blade. Maybe they already had a Blade. Maybe it was like a 1610 they gave up. They're like, oh, this meta now. Let's go back. Got reworked. Interesting. Let's go back. Right? Maybe they picked it back up. Or it could be the Assassin. Flavor of the Assassins. Assassins taste good. Okay? That is also not an opinion. It's a, it's a fact. Because if we look at the game, the number one downloaded the number one downloaded is assassin right number one viewed profile the style book is an assassin it, it, it's, it's not an opinion as a matter of fact top three are assassins right people love their assassins man they love their assassins okay 
Why do I keep bringing that up? Sorry. So maybe that is why people are like, maybe people, the demographic, like the young, mid 20 year old dudes just like assassin. They just like assassins. And uh, let me see. Why, why is chat? Okay. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Okay, there it is. So I, I think that's why um, you see more assassin. I mean, blades being entering more blades entering sixteen thirty plus than breaker, right? But breaker is doing good for a male class. Out of all the male classes, I believe breaker is doing the best. Let's look at the data. Yeah. Oh, the only male class beating breaker is gunlasser. I mean, gunlasser is just good though. Gunlasser is high acceptance rate. I don't know. Would you say it's a chill class to play? I don't I don't know about that. I think it's pretty sweaty. I don't know what it is about Gunlancer that makes people play it. It's got to have like a reward, right? Invest in, investment to fun ratio. Investment to reward ratio. What is it? I don't know. Gunlancer is chill. I don't personally play a Gunlancer, so I, I don't, I cannot relate. But I don't know why Gunlancer is so popular here. And it keeps entering endgame. I, I don't want to say it's a cheap class to build. I don't think so. Mm. It's low APM. So you're saying that it's boomer friendly? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's the case. I, I don't know. Anyways, Breaker 11. Number 12 is Pala. Pala is the number three male class in Lost Ark. Entering the endgame in KR. Obviously, I would love to see the Western side of things. I wish we had some APIs going over there, you know? And then War Dancer, still hanging in there. Not bad. War Dancer. Hmm. A lot of late, a lot of, lot, lot of, lot of Ajashis like War Dancer, bro. Okay. And then the Ajumas. And then the Scrapper, 932. Reaper. Reaper top 15. <laughs> what a surprise. It was, she used to be rock bottom, man. Hell yeah. Let's go, Reaper. And then Thriker at 16, entering the endgame. And, oh, it's waning down. Arcana. But once again, Arcana just got above. Destroyer, 568. Scouter. Now we are in the 500 territory. A third of Blades, right? And then Summoner. And then we got the last page. Oof. What's the last page? Archilorist. Soulfist. Sharpshooter. Zerker. Shadowhunter. And... Dead Eye, damn, damn, damn. Dead Eye could be like a case study. You could do a 26 minute video on Dead Eye, right? It's not like Dead Eye can't pump. It's just the gunslinger effect. I believe it's the the boob slingers. It's got to be the boob slinger effect, dude. Boob slinger, god man. Boob slinger hasn't been like z s like zero z tier zero in a long time. But she's still in there, you know what I mean? Right? 6,900 boob slingers above 1630 plus. 6,000. I'm one of them. Damn. Slayer. After 13 months. 14 months? 15 months? 13 months. 14 months. Whatever. Only 3,000 have entered endgame. 3,000 characters not people 3,000 slayers chat you could be like i'm gonna meta chase i'm gonna meta chase bro only 3,000 man only 2,500 soul eaters are in the end game and then let, let me see the blade blade even blade 6,000 6,000 damn pistol is the most fun spec to play around period right now i mean fun is subjective if you're having fun that's great this is just stupid data. Don't let this deter you from anything you want to do. It's a video game. If you're having fun, you're winning. All right. And then, like, you don't need to see this and be like, oh, man, getting mad. It's a video game. If you're having fun, you're winning. Yeah, don't let others, what their cocks or their brain is, what they're doing, don't let it decide your fun. So let's look at the distribution of support to the DPS. 1630 plus. We went down 0.04. Okay. So support 22.97% of the characters above 1630. Mm, so no major change. 
no major change. And I guess that is it. From next time, next month, he will pretty much break down the class engravings, like remaining energy versus surge, blah, 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 hunger and thirst. I mean, hunger and lunar. And I'm really interested to see what happened after the balance patch where the Cillians did get buffed. Hmm. I, I'd imagine some of the Sorks did go back to their Sork alts. Yeah, I could even see that movement within the Whale community. As their eight Sorks, they're back. I see them go back. And then Arcana is like to the moon right now. But they're hiding it. They're trying to hide it. Can't hide. Can't hide. But let's see what happens to Arcana. Just because Arcana could be the strongest class right now. Let's just say. Let's just say it is the strong. Let's just say. Let's just make up our own world where Arcana is the best class. That doesn't mean people are going to go out there and start making Arcanas. One, too hard to meta chase for 99% of the players. Number two, just because it's meta, it doesn't mean it's fun for them or it fits their play style. And number three, I mean, number four, number three or four, whatever we're, we're on. Um... Number, number, whatever, whatever, okay, my brain just froze, sorry. Arcana is not easy, right? I mean, it's not like it's a hard game either, but it's still compared to like, um, what do we group as an easy entropy class right now? Uh, as Porsche says, the, the, the Darka class, Darka is like, just keep press your keyboard, not much thinking, priority, like Predator, Hunger, Taijutsu. First, I mean, uh, yeah, first intent. Like those classes, you don't need to warm up. You just log in. They're like, you get invited to a raid. And then within two seconds, you're like, you download the schematics. You're like, you know, it's like the matrix. You know what to do. Okay, dude. Yeah, rage spear. Uh, okay, I know what to do. But then like, for example, like Arcana, you kind of need to like warm up a little bit. Got to get the blood flowing to your brain. And then uh, same thing with like Surge Blade a little bit. Not that, not, it's not that, it's not that complex, but you, you get my, you get my drift, right? So just because Arcana, let's say, is, let's say it is like the best, doesn't mean everyone's gonna go to Arcana because it's too expensive. Um, they're already working on six characters. They already have their projects going, and they're like, I don't know about shuffling those cards, man. Those cards complex. You gotta hug the boss is nuts. It is. Technically, Hitmaster class, but it is. You got to be very close to the boss, too. Because the range of those four red skills are pretty tight. I like that, personally. I like that, but it might not be your cup of tea. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And then, think about the balance patch that... I know this is like a separate topic of this video or this stream right now, but... I really wonder why some of the Hitmaster classes got skipped. Although they're grouping this up as a Hitmaster buff, I don't think it was enough as a general whole. That's what the community feels as well. And some classes got left out. And I wonder why. I think, like, Deadeye, Gunsinger, and Shadowhunter, I think they're due for a construction. Like a rework, remaster, right? Not just, like, number up and down, or plus or minus. But we're talking, like... New animation, new sound effects, class engraving changes. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, the, the biggest question is when. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him six months. That's my personal timer. Uh, if nothing happens, then it's not like I'm gonna freaking re-roll. Like to what? What am I re-roll? Where am I gonna escape to? I'm stuck in that island. But anyways, that's it for that.